Prime Minister Boris Johnson is under fire once more over claims about a party in the Garden of Downing Street during the first lockdown. Paymaster General Michael Ellis answered the related urgent question on the Prime Minister's behalf on Tuesday in the Commons. He said the alleged party on May the 20th, 2020, is part of the investigation led by the second permanent secretary at the Cabinet Office, Sue Gray, and the findings will be published. Uh, it will establish the facts, uh, and if wrongdoing is established, there will be requisite disciplinary action taken. As with all internal investigations, if evidence emerges of what was potentially a criminal offence, the matter would be referred to the Metropolitan Police, and the Cabinet Office's work may be paused. Multiple reports have suggested the Prime Minister attended the event with his wife Carrie Johnson. He sidestepped questions on Monday about whether he attended the evening gathering. Deputy leader of the Labour Party, Angela Rayner, doubted that the Prime Minister hadn't known about the party beforehand. The invitation was sent to 100 staff, many of them his own most personal senior appointees. This was organised in advance, Mr Speaker. ITV News reports the Prime Minister's principal private secretary, Martin Reynolds, sent an email to Downing Street employees inviting them to make the most of the lovely weather in the garden. England was under tough restrictions banning groups from meeting socially outdoors when the message was sent. A spokesman for Scotland Yard confirms that they are aware of party claims and they are in contact with the Cabinet Office. The Prime Minister's official spokesman said the Prime Minister still has full confidence in his principal private secretary, Reynolds, who continues in his role. Earl Rhodes, NTD News.